Hi everyone and welcome. Great that you're here to join me today on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and with spring here and the return of some of our favorite creatures, today I have a hilarious story called Frog vs. Toad. Do you know what some of the differences are between frogs and toads? One of the biggest physical differences is in their skin. While well, frogs have smooth, slimy skin that is often moist, toads have thicker, bumpier skin that is more dry. Today's story has been written and illustrated by Ben Mantle. Frog was hiding in the leaves. His stomach was rumbling. The juicy fly was almost close enough to taste. Snap! Dinner was served. Snap! Suddenly, another tongue flew out of nowhere. Hey, let go! I saw the fly first, mumbled Frog. No, you let go, came the reply. Oh, this is the worst day ever, squealed the fly. I'm being eaten by two frogs. Two frogs? How rude. That one is a toad, gasped Frog. Frogs are nothing like toads. Yeah, I'm not a slimy frog, bellowed Toad. The fly saw its chance and buzzed off. Wait, did you call me slimy, croaked frog? Well, you're dry and lumpy. Toad was annoyed. Oh, why don't you hop it, long legs? You're just jealous, teased frog. Look how high it can hop. Worms have longer legs than you, and they don't even have legs. Frog hopped and hopped. Toad was upset. Yeah, well, not even a princess's kiss could turn you into a prince, laughed Toad. All you're good for is a witch's potion, Frog shouted back. And how can you even see anything with those tiny eyes? At least mine don't swivel all over the place, muttered Toad. Don't know what you're talking about, shrugged Frog. Frog and Toad couldn't stop squabbling. I'm so much more clever than you, Frog taunted. I'm so much stronger than you, bragged Toad. They continued bickering all the way to the swamp. Well, Toads absolutely stink, howled Frog. That's not fair, bald toad. You know our smell stops anyone from eating us. Things were getting a bit lively. Huh? Frog cried. Frogs are just better than toads. No, toads are the best, boasted toad. So la la la, I'm not listening to frogs like you anymore. Frog was ready to burst. That's it. If you say one more word, you'll do what, said Toad, taking a step closer. Frog had run out of things to say. Splat! Mud fight! Split, splat, splotch, squelch. The frogs and toads were so busy slinging mud, they didn't even notice someone approaching. A low voice growled, Your shouting and splashing has woken me up. Everyone froze. Toad squirmed in fright. Er, this frog started it, not us toads. It doesn't matter who started it. Frogs, toads, you all taste the same to me because all you pea brains are related. And now I'm hungry. 
What? We're related? I can't believe it. I'm related to you, gasped the frog. Toad thought for a second. You know, we might be different, but actually, you're all right. Frog smiled. You're not so bad yourself. Hey, welcome to the family. Thanks, beamed Toad. Soon, there was a chorus of apologies between the frogs and the toads. Thanks for showing us we're all the same, crocodile. What? I'm not a revolting crocodile. I'm an alligator. Alligators and crocodiles are completely different. Why would you say that? Honestly, said Frog, I know, replied Toad, some folks are so touchy. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it and got a good laugh. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. If you're looking for us elsewhere, you can also find us on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Patreon. I hope you'll all come back soon for some more fun stories. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.